All right, hopefully the audio is good and I still know what I'm doing, but it's been a while since I put anything out tutorial related, so I just wanna jump into it. One of the tutorials I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I couldn't because I was working at Expo at the time, was this tool or trick or just thing I use on OBS quite a lot, which is splitting audio. And the reason why I use this so much is because when I used to have a dual streaming setup, I used to like to split the audio between my microphone and my actual gameplay sound because on my microphone, I wanted to put effects on, you know, I wanted to put on compression, a limiter, and I didn't want that to also be on the gameplay sound. I wanted the gameplay sound to have a limiter on it and that's about it. So what I'm gonna talk about today is how to use OBS to basically split out your audio. It's the audio monitoring tool. It's been in OBS for quite a while, but with the latest OBS 28 update, there's actually some really cool new stuff you can do to it. So let's go right into the meat of it. Okay, so a lot of this is mainly for a specific streaming setup. So what I wanted to accomplish is I wanted to be able to use my high-end microphone, like if you have a Shure SM7B, and I wanted to be able to talk to people, you know, in Discord or in-game chat, and also have that audio go out to the streaming PC. And you can do this by, you know, just splitters or cables or a mixer. Really, this actually has to be hardware-based, you know, keep that high-quality audio. But once you do that, then comes the gaming PC side, sending that gaming PC audio to the streaming PC. So let's talk about that. All right, so what is the challenge here? What are we trying to accomplish? Well, the challenge is, is there's a lot of software that actually lets you split out audio to all your different playback devices on your gaming PC. But the problem is, is that if you're playing a game, the game will only output audio to the default audio device. Like this could be your headset or like I have a DAC. And to copy this over to another playback device, it used to be quite complicated. You used to have to use virtual audio cable, or you just have to send audio out to a mixer and then split it out different ways. But OBS actually lets you simplify this quite a bit using its audio monitor tool. So what you're gonna wanna do is set your default device, set it to whatever you want it to be, you know, your headphones, you know, your USB headset, whatever you want. And then you're gonna wanna launch OBS. Now in OBS, you're gonna want, and this is on your gaming PC, not on your streaming PC, just your gaming PC. Now, in OBS, all you're gonna wanna add as a source is an audio output capture. Now, this is basically your default device, so you can just leave it as default device, or you can select it right away, but add that as a source. It'll start capturing, you know, whatever's playing on your headphones, whatever is your main listening device. And then you're gonna go into the settings, you're gonna go into the audio tab, and you're gonna go to the audio monitor, and then you're gonna set this to your capture card device. So if you've connected, say, your GPU to the capture card on the streaming PC, you should see this device here listed like, you know, Elgato or whatever you're using. You're gonna set that as an audio monitor. Then you're gonna go back, you're gonna go into your advanced audio settings. And then when you see your audio source list for your audio output, you're gonna wanna set that to monitor. So that means it's basically gonna go out that audio monitor device. So you have it in your headphones, goes out to the audio monitor. You can check your OBS on your streaming PC to confirm this, that it's receiving audio. Sometimes it's a little funky. Sometimes you gotta go off and on and it'll work. And sometimes, when you restart, you have to kind of redo this process. It's a little picky sometimes, but for the most part, it should be set it and forget it. And there you go, you're basically duplicating audio and it has no delay. So the video will be in sync with the audio. I mean, there is probably milliseconds of delay when you're doing this, but nothing that's gonna be really visible except if the viewers are looking at like time code sync or something like that. But there you go, that's pretty much how you duplicate audio. I use it all the time in a bunch of different scenarios. So let's talk about what improvements OBS V28, I believe, has done and just kind of some really interesting ways you can use this tool. All right, so how does OBS V28 make this interesting? Well, the main way it makes it interesting is one of the new features in OBS V28. So when you use a system, because you've set it as a default device, that means anything that plays back on your default device will also come through into the stream feed. So, you know, if you're listening to Spotify, if you have your Discord chat, any of those things will go through that audio signal, which could be a problem. You know, maybe you want to listen to music, but you don't want to deal with all the DMCA routing and all that stuff like that. Or, you know, you just want to listen to music while you're recording something, or maybe you want to talk with your friends, but you don't want the stream to hear it because it might say some risky things. There is a great way that you can do this now. So instead of adding that audio output capture, what you're going to want is the per application audio capture. This is new. In v28 and it's in beta so it might work it might not work 
you know, your mileage might vary. Uh, I'm sure it'll improve as time goes along. But basically what you do is you click this and then it allows you to capture audio only from a specific application. So you can set it specifically to the game that you'll be playing and it'll only capture that. So that means when you're sending it through the output of the audio monitor into your capture card, it's only getting that sound. So it won't be getting your music or anything like that. Really handy, really useful. The only drawback though, is that if you're switching games and playing different games in the session, you'll have to go back into the OBS in your gaming PC, you know, select a new application that you want to capture. So it's not automatic or automated, but you know, if you just play one game on stream or you don't switch games too much, it's a really handy tool to use. But let me know in the comments if you have any questions about these. I know I went through pretty quickly, but I really believe that this really helps streamline a lot of dual PC streaming setups. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's good to be back and get a video out there. Uh, going to Japan like two days after I record this video. So let's see what happens. Let's see, I get to use my camera more often. Uh, I have this uh, crazy rig here that I'm hoping to take out. Anyway, I've gone on too long. Thanks again. See ya.